divine truth frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session two. When spirits influence people on the earth, what effect does that actually have on the spirit themselves? Well, it depends what type of influence we're trying to bring to the person on earth. If our influence that we're trying to bring to the person on earth is based upon love and is motivated by love, then it actually enhances our condition in love, which means that we, uh, we grow in love. And as we grow in love, we, it makes us eligible to live in better and more pristine environments in the spirit world. So in that regard, it would be very positive. Mm -hmm. If our desire is to influence the person on earth in a negative direction, out of harmony with love and into you know, suppression of all sorts of emotions and eventually into acting out rage and acting out shame, acting out sexual desires that are out of harmony with love, then where we're going there is we're influencing the person negatively. We're teaching the person to do things that are damaging the person. As a result of that, our own soul will degrade in its condition. And in fact, the way a spirit feels it is their pain intensifies. Their own pain and suffering intensifies in the Im immediately upon taking an action which harms another person, whether that other person was in the spirit world or on earth. Mm. So the way the spirit feels it is an increase in their pain and suffering. Now, often there's, it's sort of like their rage is this high and their rebellion is this high and their pain and suffering begins this high. And it's only until they do something more that causes their pain to be this high and do something more and it causes their pain to be so much higher again. And eventually they get to the point where the pain and suffering exceeds the rebellion. Mm -hmm. And at that point is when the spirit stops taking the negative action. And that's when they, that, and that actually locks in their place in the spirit world yep. in terms of their location of where they will live until they start to take positive actions to reduce their rebellion. So what happens for most of them is they arrive in the spirit world with an attitude of rebellion, but with pain and suffering that does not yet match their rebellion. And so they increase their rebellion until the pain and suffering, sorry, the rebellion is, is now acted upon, mm -hmm. and they increase their pain and suffering until their pain and suffering increases, so much so that it masks the feeling of wanting to rebel. So the, the pain and suffering is actually elevated because of the, the action in rebellion. Of their actions in rebellion. Yeah. Yeah, their actions in rebellion taken because they wish to rebel against the laws of love. And, and so this is about rebellion of laws of love. Mm -hmm. their, their rebellion of laws of love is this high and they might not have acted them all out on earth. Right? Mm -hmm. And most people haven't actually acted them all out on earth because there's laws on earth that stop you <laughs> yes. from doing so. Right? <laughs> And, but when they hit the spirit world, they find there's no law stopping them. So they just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going until the rebellion is exceeded by their pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. When their pain there's, and suffering the pain is and greater, suffering is greater yep. right? when their pain and suffering is greater, they then stop doing any more actions or they just continue at that level of action. Mm -hmm. and, and that point is the point when they start to turn. Mm. into a more positive state. Up until that point, they continue their behaviour until they've reached the destruction of their own self and this, that they can manage. Got you. So this, um, this, these actions are influencing other people. Yes. That's what you're saying. This... Every time we harm the will of another, our pain and suffering will increase. This mm -hmm. is the law, one mm -hmm. of the laws of love of the universe, in fact. Every time we take an action that harms the will of another, whether it's purposeful or even mistaken, mm. even, we will be an increase in our own pain. If it's mistaken, the increase will be less than if it's a purposeful action. But either way, there will be an increase in our own pain. And as our pain increases, eventually we get to our own pain threshold where we can't manage the pain anymore and we want to stop. Yeah. We want to stop. Yeah. And when we want to stop, that's where we stop. And that's what attracts us, attracts us finally to our condition in the spirit world and our position, our, our location in the spirit world where we eventually live. And after that point, what we choose to do to develop in love will determine how we progress.
and determine the reduction of our pain and suffering. Now, this point can happen when we're on earth or in the spirit world, but for the majority of people, they are very desensitised to the emotions involved that cause pain and suffering. And as a result, they continue to do things that pain and suffering on earth until they pass. And it's only after they pass that they become more sensitive and therefore stop their actions beyond a certain point. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, for the majority of people, uh, they don't stop their actions on earth, whereas we could all choose to stop our actions on earth and therefore not experience the extra pain and suffering that comes after we've passed by continuing to choose negative actions. And influencing other people. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that it's every time we act out of harmony with love that we are going to increase our own pain and suffering and the pain and suffering of others. Now, any time we, we do it against their will, we are increasing their pain and therefore our own. Mm -hmm. so, so every single person who does this in the spirit world is increasing their pain and suffering and eventually they stop. And, and as you know, you, you and I have many spirits come to us who have had a history, yes. that could, should we call it, of very dark behaviour, very dark deeds, very evil natures, and they've increased their pain and suffering so much but that by the time they come to speak with us, they've, they've really finished the process. They've, they, they are in terrible pain, mm -hmm. but they've finished the process of wanting to do further damage and they want to know what to do about that then. And that's when you can help them. And in fact, there are many, many millions of spirits waiting for these darker spirits to get into that condition so that these brighter spirits, the more loving spirits, can help them to, to progress into love mm -hmm. and therefore out of their pain. Mm. Beautiful.